He got a mask on, y'all. I can't even tell if he's cute or not. I, I'm over here looking like a thumb trying to hit on people, so let me stop. Um. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the start of a new vlog. It is officially Monday morning. It is, what time is it? I think it's like six something. Six fifty-three, and I'm actually on my way to the vet because I noticed that my little pupper back here. Since you guys, this may be the first time you're seeing me. This is my dog Shadow. Honey, you're so dark back there. This is him, and I noticed that yesterday um, he's been peeing blood. So I've been keeping an eye on him all day. I called the vet yesterday, but they were closed by that time because it was Sunday, so they have like weird hours and they're like, you can take him to the emergency vet, which I know there's like, oh, it's just like a huge fee associated with just taking them to the emergency. So he seemed fine enough that I kept an eye on him all day. I gave him some apple cider vinegar water. He barely drank it, that's fine. But he, you know, he seemed fine other than the peeing blood. So I just took him out like every hour so he can pee more in case he does have a UTI and um, yeah so right now I'm on my way there so I can take him to the vet and they can check him out which great news though he's not peeing blood this morning he just peed and I didn't notice any blood but that doesn't mean the problem you know has resided so I'm on my way to the vet now they open at 7 a.m. so I wanted to get in as early as possible so that way we can get in and out as early as possible and I can maybe go back to go back to bed um, but yeah so hey guys welcome to the start of a new vlog let's you know let's see how this week goes I pray everything is a-okay with this one and it, it is just a UTI and I can just put him on some like antibiotics or something and nothing serious so cuz you know the vet can be expensive when they want to be so so shadow is currently with the doctor um since you know quarantine and all of that the whole method of like dropping off our dogs are a little different so everyone's just kind of like waiting in their car and we drop them off they do their thing and then we pick them back up so as of right now shadow is currently going to get a urine analysis it's a hundred and eighty dollar procedure by the way um but yeah he's currently getting his pee analyzed and then so from there we'll see what the issue is i'm really i really think it's a uti it may not even be anything that serious but yeah so they said it'll probably take about a 30 minute 30 minutes for it to happen they will call me but i was getting so hungry to the point that i was starting to feel a little nauseous so thankfully there was a 7-Eleven right around the corner. So I got a juice and a granola bar. He got a mask on, y'all. I can't even tell if he's cute or not. I, I'm over here looking like a thumb trying to hit on people. So let me stop. Um, but I got this cold pressed juice from 7-Eleven. It's called Go Smart. Um, it's, I got the Tropical Glow. It has pineapple, orange, banana, apple, mango, passion fruit, and coconut water. Oh, sorry, y'all. This is what it looks like. It's got, I actually went in looking for coconut water. They didn't have it. This has coconut water in it. Hey, buddy. Ignore my slides. I meant to put tennis shoes on and I forgot. How are you feeling? You gotta focus. How you feeling? You feeling good? So I am officially back home with Shadow and he's eating right now because I have to give him his medicine with food. Okay, so they gave me an antibiotic for him and an anti-inflammatory, which these two things alone cost over a hundred dollars. like i need you need um 
insurance. But anyways, so they gave me an anti-inflammatory just in case that, um, I don't know if I said what he, he's been peeing blood the last couple of days or like he'll pee normal and then it'll like end with a little bit of blood or he'll like be spotty with some blood which they said it's probably either uti or like a stone but she said she didn't notice any bits of any like stones or anything or any large items in him so that's good but so i have the um the antibiotics are for a uti so i won't we won't know for sure what it is for a few days because he took a urine analysis and that's gonna take like three days to get the results. But they went ahead and treated it like a UTI just in case. If anything changes, then I'll have to go back in. Knock on wood that I don't because this doctor's visit cost me about $300. Okay, so I have to give him each of these twice a day with a meal. And so I got these little peanut butter pill pockets because knowing him, like, they said to mix it in with his food, but, like, I don't know if he'll eat it like that. So, I'm going to give him, I got the peanut butter pill pockets. They smell like straight up peanut butter. Okay. So, he just ate. And then, it's 11 now, so then at 11 o'clock tonight, I'll give him the other, the other one. All right, BB, I've got something for you. They already cut them in half for me. So basically he takes like one pill per day, but um, in halves. So they gave me, they cut them up for me already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pill in this little peanut butter pouch and then close it up. It's like there's no pill. Come here, buddy, have a treat. Cool. That's it. I'll see you again in 12 hours. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I am home for the rest of the day until around 6.30 when I'll head out to go to rehearsal. Rehearsal's from 7 to 9, so I'll be doing that. But other than that, I'm going to be home today, getting some work done, trying to figure out how to, you know, make my money. Hey guys, so I'm all set to head out to rehearsal and I just wanted to check in with you guys and kind of show you what I'm wearing, I guess. I'm wearing these leggings that my mom got me, but what's so great about them is that they've got a roof booty, so it looks like I got a bigger booty. And then I'm wearing this black Calvin Klein sports bra that I actually bleached myself. I accidentally bleached like the corner of it, so I just went full ham. And then this jacket that I got from Lulu's. But, and then I'm gonna be putting probably, I want to say my combat boots, but I might put tennis shoes on so that I can move a little bit easier. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm not, I'm in the same outfit I wore earlier, except earlier I was wearing a long sleeve shirt, but now that it's hot outside, I'm in a sports bra and a jacket that I can take off. I'll see you guys later and gang gang. So I'm having a pretty chill day today, but I am doing my nails at the moment and I'm trying something new. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse and show that to you guys since I don't really have any content that's really happening for today. I've been doing laundry. I've just been super duper productive, but I've been on my computer or doing laundry. So super boring for you guys. But I figured I'd show you guys um, just me doing my nails. I, ha I got poly gel nails. I had them on earlier, but I I'm gonna see how they work with tips. So I'm gonna treat them like they're acrylics because my nails are so uber short that it's like a whole thing so i'm trying something new and we'll see how this goes
guys so it is currently wednesday september 30th um it's about noon i just left the gynecologist i had my yearly appointment so that's what i was doing got all the testing done just the whole shebang you know see your doctors every year guys you know go in for your annuals from your OBGYNs, your physicians all of that I actually have a my appointment with my regular doctor tomorrow I'm getting it all done this week I got my I had the dentist appointment last week I got the OB appointment today and my regular doctor tomorrow so by the end of this week I will have my bill of health will be a1 Christine um, but yeah so I actually I was gonna go to my see the tattoo guy today cuz I'm gonna get the tattoo that I got a couple weeks ago it just needs a touch-up but he wanted to like switch the times around today but because I had my appointment I couldn't do it so I'm actually gonna go tomorrow morning so that just freed up my afternoon so I'm open and chilling until like 2 p.m. and then I'm gonna meet up with my friend Avery and we're gonna go probably grab something to eat have some cocktails just like catch up because we haven't hung out in a really long time just to like catch up on our lives and stuff so I'm gonna do that in a couple hours so I think I'm gonna go drive back home take care of shadow I really wish I brought my tripod because there's some really cute areas over here that I can take photos in because I haven't done any photos in this outfit in particular so i wanted to do that but i need to go back home and actually like finish my hair and like my look because i was running late for the doctor so i just like came with whatever i could get done but it's a super cash outfit i'm wearing these like sweatpants these joggers and my like chunky sneakers and this really nice soft um bodysuit that i got from nasty gal and it feels so soft and so expensive honey but anyways, I just wanted to say hi to you guys, check in, and I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna, you know, vlog some of my food if I get it, my cocktails, be cute about it. But I'm super excited to have like a cute little girly catch-up day. And then we're gonna go to rehearsal after. We go to the rehearsal together, but we see each other quite a lot, but we haven't like hung out and had quality time with each other. So we're gonna hang out, hang out, and then go to rehearsal together later. But anyways. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go put my hair in a bun and kind of fix my edges. There's just like little details to my outfit that I wanna get right. And then maybe I'll head out early to like a park or something and maybe record some stuff. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll see you guys in a second. Oh yeah, I guess this has been a thing like Hey guys, just wanted to quickly say good morning. What's up, how's it going? It is currently Thursday at 10.36 a.m. and I am in the exact same outfit I was in yesterday. I took a shower, I'm clean, but I'm wearing the same outfit because after this first thing I'm doing, which is I'm going to go get my tattoo uh, touched up since it's uh, officially healed now. It's faded in some spots, so I just need to go in and get it um, just filled in in a couple areas and then after that I'm gonna go to a park and find a place to take some pictures in this outfit I really wanted to take pictures in it yesterday and that didn't happen so that's why I'm in it again today and yeah so I'm on my way over to the tattoo parlor right now and I will see you guys either there or after yo <laughs> So I just got my tattoo retouched and the funny thing is, okay, well let me tell you, if you guys are ever in Las Vegas and you're looking for fine line tattoos, I will 1 million percent recommend June. He's here at the uh, King's Tattoo Parlor. Here, can I zoom in? So that's it right there. Um, it's on Flamingo in Las Vegas. So basically like if you were at the palms if you were to take that street all the way down for like five miles you'll run into this place but what's f so um let me let me show you guys the touch up oh wait there's like there's so many shadows in here so here it is I'm laughing to myself because the first time when I first got the tattoo done I bought this numbing cream and I put it on for a little bit I couldn't even put it on for like the, lot, the amount of time that I was supposed to because my appointment like got changed 
you're supposed to leave it on for like 90 minutes i only left it on for like 30 yada 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 whatever but i bought this numbing cream and i like i really only have ever gotten this tattoo and i got it like six years ago so i don't know if this i don't know my pain tolerance when it comes to tattoos like that so i wasn't even sure if the numbing tattoo or the numbing cream helped but now that i'm comparing it to today's tattoo bitch that numbing cream helped because i am in more pain and i mean like it was fully healed like it's been over a month a month and a half for a like single needle tattoo so it healed really fast so it's not like he was redoing open wound but let me tell you it definitely hurt way more this time so yeah so i have to keep this on for four days but yeah, like I was saying, that tat that numbing cream worked. Cause I wasn't sure. I actually like it was not painful at all. And if I had maybe kept that thing on for like 90 minutes, I probably wouldn't have felt the tattoo. Cause like on a scale of one to ten back then, I think I put it at like a two certain points for five. But like today, honey. It was like a six. She hurt. She hurt. And then the G hurt the most. So I was like laughing to myself because I'm like, oh, this is my G spot. It hurts. But it hurt more. So definitely it was a little bit more tender today than last time. But I'm excited. It's going to heal. And then I don't have to like deal with this anymore because right now it's like I have to wash my hands a million times a day because of, you know, the pandemic. But then also I have to like wash my hands a certain way to, as to not get this wet. This one is healed now. So I pretty much treat this one as normal as possible i still try not to wash it with too many different types of soaps i try to keep it with like antibacterial and i just make sure i keep it moisturized but yeah so we'll see how this one turns out it'll turn out great the some of the letters shaping are a little different but i think overall when you, my hand is like this you can see it better because when my hand was in the relaxed position some of the letters got lost you really can't see it because of the glare in here but I am so grateful for this tattoo and I'm grateful for Jin. And I will link him down below if you guys are looking for a tattoo artist in Vegas. He's like booked a month ahead. So like right now you could probably only book spots with him in November. Um, and it's October now. So yeah, just catch him while you can. But I'll, I definitely think I'll get another tattoo by him one of these days. So he also does it like Photoshop works. So if you have something from Photoshop, he can tattoo that for you. It's 11.20 now, and I don't have to be at the doctor until 1.30, so I'm going to go. I saw a park on the way, so I'm going to go to that park and just hang out there and film some content, take some pictures. You know, I have some time to kill, so I'm going to do that. It is such a beautiful day out today, so I'm just so happy that I'm outside. It's a lot nicer in the shade, though. I ain't going to lie. I'm just trying to find a spot though to take my photo. I want a pretty neutral background, like color wise. I've already done one outside. I'm not opposed to doing it again, but I'm, gonna, I'm trying to switch it up. So I found this wall. It's pretty basic. Basic bitch wall. Hey guys, so it is Friday, it's Friday, and I'm not going to be doing much today, I actually have some work to get done on the computer, I have um, some blog stuff I need to write, I've got some editing I need to get done, so it's really just like a boring day in for me and you guys, but I just got this package in the mail, I, um, I'm going to be doing a whole other video on this. But I just wanted to show you guys vlog style really fast, a quick glimpse into what I got. So I basically made a giant purchase on e.l.f. I bought enough stuff for me to do a full face of makeup. And literally the only thing I didn't get was eyelash glue. Because I had that already and they didn't have that on the site. So from like face masks to primers to like all the way through to the setting spray, honey. So I'm gonna do be I'm gonna be doing a few full face um, using Elf products videos, and I'm also gonna do like an um, an official unboxing or haul. But I just wanted to show you guys the box super quickly. I haven't purchased from Elf in like honestly, I want to say like ever, like straight up. 
maybe like in middle school or something like from elf.com but like any elf products i have i usually get them from like other places that sells elf products but i got these from elf.com and um yeah this is not how this box works it can't be like it just can't be I'm gonna have to take this off. But also, I'm currently watching um, the Corey Taylor CMFT forum show because <laughs> I'm technically in it. I'm in the finale. So I'm just watching the live stream right now. So that's really what I'm doing. I took a break from um, working so that I could watch that. Boom. Okay, so now it makes sense because there's a little tab on it earlier that says you are. And I was like, okay, and then I moved the tab and didn't say anything, but I get it. You are alfing amazing. I love it. Dope. Let me show you what's in here. So here's just like a first hand glimpse of what's in here i might even just use this footage for the video so here's what the inside of the box looks like so i got a ton of stuff i think i got like 28 items but here is everything and i cannot wait to give everything a go so yeah so i just wanted to show you guys briefly what i got but i'm gonna be doing like an, a legitimate unboxing or not unboxing but like a haul so you guys can see everything i got and then i'm gonna be doing a few videos where i'm just doing full face different looks with the products that i got because i got a few different eyeshadow palettes i would love to try some different looks but using only elf products i think that'll be really fun because elf is super affordable and for people that are like still learning how to do makeup and don't want to break the bank completely elf is a great way to start because they've got great quality products but the price is reasonable so i'm really excited for these glitter eyeshadows oh yes but anyways so that's it really for today i'll probably see you guys um maybe tomorrow or something but yeah i'm gonna have to stay i'm gonna lay low this weekend and get some work done so that's it's gonna be good for me um boring for you guys however so i have officially made my first etsy sale and i haven't been like telling anyone about it but i made an etsy store where i've been making press on nails and i've been doing this as like a quarantine project for me and i've had them up for so long and someone finally bought this set and I'm obsessed with this set, so I'm so happy I didn't like give in and wear it myself. But how cute. So yeah, if you guys are looking for press-ons, I'll put my Etsy store down below. Or you can just like hit me up on Instagram or whatever if you have like a specific idea you want. Because the ones I put on Etsy are the ones that I've made already. But if you want like a custom set, then just hit me up. But I'm so excited. This is my first official sale. Today has been so hectic for me and i was wondering why i was so emotional it's because i forgot to take my birth control for like two days straight bitch you're no wonder you're emotional your hormones are off balance completely i've cried today i've like i've literally had mental breakdowns over things that i can't control and if you know me in person i don't get upset over things i can't control like i have honed that skill in over the last year as to like you can't you know what's the point in getting angry over things you can't control but today was just not that day like i've gone to every place i've gone to i've been in line for so long and then i had to remember like it's the fucking weekend i don't go out on the weekends anymore i try to do all my errands on the weekdays because i try to avoid people as much as possible so like everywhere i've gone I've genuinely wasted two hours of my life today and I have a lot to do today and I think that's where I'm like getting really upset because I wasn't gonna go anywhere today I have a lot of shit to get done today like a lot and eat like hours worth of stuff that I have to get done by the morning and it's already almost 4 p.m. I've gone to places that are just complete wastes of my time and I should have just stayed at home and gotten my work done so that's where i'm just 
And then I realized I didn't take my birth control. I'm like, this is why I'm so upset. Like, I just am so upset about everything that's happening today. And it's stuff that I'm like, why are you upset about? Because it's not in your control. You know, I tried my best today. I did my best today. And, you know, yeah. This is probably the most spicy you guys have ever seen me. But I'm going to pull up to the dispensary and get me some ganja. Currently Monday and I or Sunday honey it's Sunday so yeah that's that I just shoved a q-tip up my nose for the day so now I'm gonna go pick up laundry detergent and yeah and that'll be it I'm gonna be home I have some editing to do I have a video I need to upload today I started editing it last night and I got like 90% done but I just want to clean it up today it's gonna be a really short video um, It'll be my Fenty um, lip products review. But yeah, so that'll be it. So I just wanted to say thanks for sticking it out with me. Yesterday, I was in such a mood. I was a whole B-I-T-C-H yesterday. I am so sorry. But you know, I am better today. I, you know, drank my water. I got a nap in. I had a headache and everything because because I, I skipped two days of my birth control, so I had to take two yesterday, and now I'm gonna have to take two again today to like put me back on track, and that just messed with my hormones so bad. I was so irritable yesterday, and then when I got home, I was like nauseous and my head hurt. Basically like gross period symptoms, like on a hundred. That's what I was dealing with. So like, I just did not feel that great. I hate when people leave their dang carts. Um, I'm gonna go into this grocery store. I do not want to be in here for more than three minutes. I know exactly what I'm getting and I know what aisles they're in. In and out. I forgot to get it yesterday. Alrighty. So I'll see you guys. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and you know sticking it out with me. I know all of the time it's not like perfect, but I think that's that's the goal. Like no one's perfect, no life is perfect. Like there's a lot of things about my life I'm going to change. And like right now it's like some of it's embarrassing to me or whatever but it's like it's not going to be forever you know my situations will change so i'm going to just use that to motivate me to you know and use that to motivate you no one's life is perfect absolutely not you know and it's i in my own reality i'm having a great time but there are things that i still want to achieve and reach you know so i um, maybe one day i'll have that talk with you guys but like you know in the near future i'm going to be moving so i'm going to be i'm planning on being a nomad for 2021 so you know those vlogs will be more exciting i am sure but yeah thanks for sticking it out with me and i'll see you guys in my next video follow me on all my social medias i'll link everything down below and put it on the screen i love you hope you love yourself too have a great day big hugs kisses be blessed bye i got the goods